During her senior year in high school, my daughter came down with a terrible disease called Lyme disease. She developed the disease from a bite from a tick, and it took her many years to get over this. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Parasitism. Parasitism is a relationship between two species of plants or animals in which one benefits at the expense of the other. Many times the parasites live in or on the host and may even cause the host to die. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. The protozoa plasmodium causes malaria, which is a worldwide disease. The plasmodium enters the bloodstream of the host from a mosquito bite. It lives in the host blood, but eventually infects the red blood cells, which can lead to malaria. Many worms are parasites. A very common example is a tapeworm. They live inside the intestines of an animal and will eat a portion of the food of the host. The tapeworms may lead to serious complications, including blocking the intestine. Now that sounds painful. Several arthropods are parasites, like a tick. The tick drinks the blood of the host, and some ticks may transfer Lyme disease to the host, which can be a very serious disease. Plants can be even parasites. Mistletoe. This plant you will see high in trees is actually a parasite. Mistletoe will attach to the host tree or shrub, and then extract water and nutrients from the host plant. Rafflesia is noted for producing the largest individual flower on earth. Interesting, it has a very strong and unpleasant odor. Rafflesia lacks any observable leaves, stems, or even roots. The plant grows thread-like strands of tissues that come in contact with surrounding host plants from which nutrients and water are obtained. So in summary, parasites benefit from their relationship with their host, and the host is either harmed or possibly dies. Remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.